Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the, re uh, the reaction with amides with the carbon nucleophiles. Really, I'm going to focus on Grignard reagents mostly. Uh, the Gilman reagents don't react. So, here, let me just let me just let me just make it clear that we're only talking about Grignard reagents. So first thing to note is that uh, not all amides are ready to react with Grignard reagents. Um, and so, so there are some reactions here that are going to be just not productive. Uh, and so if there is any NH bond, uh, we're going to get no reaction. Well, and we're actually, we're not going to get no reaction. Um, what's going to happen is initially, I know what I want to do. Not 100% that we get no reaction. We just don't get a productive reaction. Is it in the absence of you know, aqueous workup, something interesting does happen. It's just not what we want. We get the acid base reaction between the Grignard reagent and the, the amide. So don't want this. Uh, same is going to be true for secondary amides. So we get the same sort of outcome if there was an alkyl group or something on the, the nitrogen here. Okay. But for tertiary amides, these are amides that have no hydrogens on them. We now have the opportunity for a productive reaction. So let's talk about that. Keep my isopropyl group, just do dimethyl. Doesn't actually matter. Um, it's after Grignard reaction and acidic aqueous workup you can isolate from this reaction ketone depending on what your r group is so what happens uh, now that there's no acidic hydrogen to react with we get our nucleophilic attack that are, we expect the grignard reagent to do And we form our alkoxide intermediate. But unlike every other, you know, Grignard type reaction before, the, um, the, the mean part here is not a good enough leaving group to just go on its own. Or even if it does, it's a good nucleophile and it's going to come back. And so this intermediate here is stuck until we neutralize the reaction with acid. And once we neutralize it with acid, we generate this hemi -ami now which we know hydrolyzes in aqueous acid to form the ketone. It's this thing once protonated. Now you have, now you can protonate the amine, make it a better leaving group and continue to go on through to the ketone and the amine comes off and even gets further protonated in acid. So this is a really cool way to make ketones from tertiary amides. And then there's one other really kind of nifty application of this. If our tertiary amide was actually a formamide and dimethyl formamide because it's inexpensive, uh, it's a really good choice. If instead of having an alkyl group on the other side of the carbonyl, 
you have a hydrogen, well, this is a reaction that will make an aldehyde. So even though in the previous video I shared that nitriles can't be converted to aldehydes, you know, by lithium aluminum hydride, they can buy some by, by disbutyl aluminum hydride. Here's an interesting way to generate an aldehyde from a tertiary amide using a Grignard reagent. So if you've been out there kind of wondering how you might make aldehydes using Grignard reagents, here it is, uh, using different formamide. Uh, so they have to be dialkyl formamides. And, and resist the urge to consider the aldehyde hydrogen or the formal hydrogen is acidic. It's not. Okay. So, this concludes the, the video on the reaction of amides with uh, organometallic nucleophiles. Generally, the Grignard reagent is the only nucleophile powerful enough to react with amides. Gilman reagents and other things are not uh, going to work. Uh, and yes, li organolithium reagents are going to react too, uh, but I'm choosing to, to not cover those at the moment. So thank you for watching.